was a super strong girl and a tough girl, but it, the loss of my daughter made me realize how strong I was and how resilient I was and just really value myself and not allow anyone to not give as much to me as I've given to them. And that's just what it is. Like, there's nothing more to it. And with regard to Star, I felt in my heart that with that situation, it was when you're when you're a public figure or when you're anybody that's in any type of limelight, a lot of times when um, when these girls or these guys aren't in a predicament where they're financially set, sometimes they're like, they're just grasping for straws and they're just kind of looking for what's going to be the next thing that they can do that can keep them in the blogs or the next thing that they can do that's going to get people talking about them. And I felt like the situation with Star was kind of like a whole entire year later, you decide that you want to make uh, a public statement about something that supposedly didn't ever happen. And I felt like it was just, it's just like her grasping for straws, looking for attention, hoping and praying that it did exactly what it did, which is get people to check for her, look for her, increase her followers. Um, and a, a good friend of mine said to me, you ever heard when Jay-Z said in the song, if I shoot you, wait, if you shoot me, you famous. If I shoot you, I'm nameless. It's like, I don't have anything to gain from beefing with her on social media, but she has everything to gain from calling out, you know, our names in a situation that is beyond old. But if you really are with the shits and you really are what you portray yourself to be, you'll keep it in the streets. And that's when you are really with the shits. If, if, if you, I, I, you know, I post so often where I am or what I'm doing and, and not for nothing. Everybody knows where I live. I have to no. be super honest. Like, everyone knows where I live. If you really, no. really going to ride for your friend and you felt like she was done unjust, you know, um, keep it in the streets. You know what I mean? Like, let's, you know, let's really do it for real. Let's not um, post DMs and things like that, you know? That's how I felt about that. And I'm always stuck between rock and a hard place because I have, you know, the people who are logical and who are paid well on my team that are like, don't do that. Don't say that. Don't this. Don't don't do that because, you know, you want your brand to grow. But then at the end of the day, you still are, you know, never going to really let anybody disrespect you, you know. So it's one of those things, but I mean, and really, in essence, what, what person that knows that they're being watched by authorities makes a threat unless they don't have any intentions of acting it through? Just doesn't make any sense. You guys, you know, you can always check my resume all the way back to, to kindergarten. And I've, I've never so much as begin to even attempt to call the police or make a report. I just wasn't raised like that or moved like that. The only time I would actually file a police report would be in the event I was burglarized and I needed to file a police report for my insurance company. Other than that, I don't even know the number to 911. Yes, I said I don't even know the number to 911. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there, you know? One thing y'all know about me is I'm patient as a motherfucker, though. Don't y'all know that about me? So anyway. What else? What else? You know what I admire when you guys, when there's a post of a, of a person... Uh, of, of a public figure or a celebrity or whomever and you guys um, they're so unproblematic I love them I always wished that I could be I always wished that I could be <laughs> I could get that type because I really I actually am cool as hell you know like I really am 
I just don't tolerate any, you know, bullshit. And then sometimes I don't, I don't address certain things, which leaves you guys to make an assumption about how I feel about certain things. I should just talk more. But I was other than that, I am. Yes, baby. You want juice? Okay. Give me the cup. Let me get the cup. You don't want no juice. Give me the cup. Anyway. Oh, Richard wants to join. I'm so nervous to even have, to even have Richard join. Oh God. And the, the last thing I want to say, I'm going to, let me get the cup, baby. Before I have Richard join is that I had saw, uh, back when I lost the baby, I had saw that people were saying that I had, uh, made fun of, and I already addressed this, but I had made fun of Remy losing her child. And I'm just, you guys, not you guys, and I, when I say you guys, I don't mean you guys specifically, but y'all have got to stop making up shit. Like, I have never in my life made fun of her or anyone else for that matter. You know, that's not even, that's not even like something that you even laugh at. There's a lot of things that are funny, but that's not one of them. It's kind of one of those things where you're just like, oh, damn, and that's it. You know, like, that's horrible, and you just move along. You know what I mean? I've never, ever made fun of her or anyone else and with the way the internet is had I ever done that it would have been pulled up and you guys would have posted it everywhere but I've never done that it's so corny um and don't ever think that I'm somewhere curled up and and can't and can't prosper because I I got a I got a bunch of money and I got a good family you know what I'm saying I got a strong foundation so even with going through that situation, I'm still able to push through and do whatever needs to be done to get me through it, you know? I'm never going to just, like, curl up and, and, and can't make make the moves that I need to make. I'm going to add Richard, even though I shouldn't, because God knows what he's going to say. Thank you. Let me add him right now. Um, you're telling these people your personal business? Don't nobody give a fuck about what you're talking about. Because she don't nobody want to get to know you. <laughs> They've been trying to get to you for the past five, six, seven years. And now you want to get to know people. Bitch, you are out of high school. <laughs> you should have done that shit in elementary. He's horribly oh, horribly boom, boom, boom. I'm sorry. I forgot you was there. I'm trying to. Well, I got so much stuff to give you. Bitch, you don't got nothing to give me. I don't want none of that stuff that you stole out of CBS. Okay, not a damn thing. Who stole not that? Not a damn Who? thing. Who First of all, what is that on your face? Let's start with that. It's my Bosha mask. I've been promoting Bosha lately. Oh, okay. Does it work or? Excuse me? Does it work? It does work. Okay. You're not going to use this as an opportunity to promote <laughs> <laughs> You don't I, tell me what the fuck to do on my I was phone. trying to explain some stuff to the folks. I was I said I was gonna try to share more like once a week. Yeah. Y'all want me to share my personal business too? Yes, share your personal business. What you wanna know? What y'all wanna know? <laughs> Girl, this take a which I it don't like it take a um um like a whole team to get this look together like to, so I can stay young. It take a team to get this together, you know. That's why you look old with that makeup off. You look old. First you know of all, I, I don't look old. My skin is clear. I don't have any bags under my eyes, and I don't? need to not come off as humble because I'm very humble. But my skin is flawless. Okay. Spell. Uh, it. And I don't have to put any of those masks on my face. I don't have to, you know, inject myself with Botox or whatever it is that you this have in your skin right there. This is, this is I don't know Botox. What that is. Yes, it is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, shit. It, it's, um, it's an alginous. It's a liquid lip collagen booster. Yes, yeah, see, I don't need any of that. These are my natural lips. These are my That's natural lips. They are. My skin. Uh, I have no eyelashes on. These are my real brows that have not been microbladed. Those I don't are have not your brows. On. These There's are my brows. Something's in there. The, there's nothing in here. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you need a well, you need a clinic or something because your breath stinks. I smell <laughs> your breath. <laughs> so you worried about detoxifying your skin? That's but you need to detoxify your insides. It's coming through your mouth. Your breath stinks. <laughs> 
How about that? But you talking about, bitch, oh, it's not dry yet. But once it dries, I'm going to peel it off. And it should hurt because I've never done one of these before. Because I don't need them. But it's getting tight. Boom, boom. Your parents is on their um, their little date for their little Yeah, his parents are on their anniversary date. They're celebrating their eight years eight of being year married. Eight-year anniversary. Yes. That's, boom, boom. You should be so proud, you know. Don't say nothing to Rashida because I did not grow up in a home with a single mother. I always had a father. My father and somebody else's. So it's okay. <laughs> so don't go there. And I ain't gay because my daddy wasn't around. He was around. So was Don't try to say daddy. all the shit, all the jokes first because you feel like... What? Don't try to say all the jokes first because you feel like that'll stop me from being able to say it. No, I'm gay because mama ate a lot of candy when she was pregnant, so there's a lot of sweetness going on in her stomach. So, mm -hmm. all you new mothers out there, don't eat no candy, especially cotton candy, because your son going to come out gay. Period. Mm -mm. And if they do, oh well. If you don't want... Look at you. You were just ready to have a gay daughter, weren't you? Old still walking around. <laughs> you were just ready. My daughter's a lesbian. No, she's a dyke. There's a difference. <laughs> She's wearing a whole boy outfit, jumpsuit, everything, zipper. Like, that's a little day. You just ready, weren't you? It's okay. Me I wouldn't husband. care what my baby came out as. What, you know, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, you know, they say babies don't come out gay. It says something that's developed. I think differently. The baby said, no, that's not the case. That's actually what he just said. He said almost cussed, I almost cussed him out. Boom, boom, don't talk to me while I'm on live because I be in character and I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> he said you look stupid. Yeah, he's a Pisces with me. Did you know that about your nephew? Well, you ain't got nothing to talk about, so... No, um, nobody asked me any questions, any personal questions. What do you think about everything that I was talking about? I mean, give you a real opinion. Hey, Kayla. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you should be addressing that thing with Miss Brooklyn. Like, that's, that's, that's. First of all, who is Brooklyn, for one? I don't know and, her name. I don't know and, her. And for two, were you on the live from the very beginning? Yeah, because you had called me, and then I got on, but then I got back off, so I put my mask on, but then I got back on just in case you needed me to get on to save your lives. Because you was at, like, 500 views, then you're now yeah, 707 because I'm on. You know, I'm interested. Whether they like me or not, I'm interested. Either I'm a homo that they need to call me out for or a clown they need to call me out for and then the rest of them love me. So it don't matter as long as you're viewing. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to that girl, fuck her. Let me give a fuck about her. That bitch is a clown. She's a clown in the body. She's a clown in the face. She's a clown with her delivery. Nobody takes her serious. She's not stupid enough to go back to fucking prison. So it's all a gimmick to get her ratings going. She's not going to touch you. She know better. That bitch, she values her freedom. So we're not even worried about her. However, if she is as stupid, she should pray about it before she, do, she attempts to do anything. However, I, just want, I just want to make a service announcement that anything that Richard is saying is in no shape or form a reflection of my thoughts or views at all. Um, I don't even know what he's talking about exactly, but, um, outside of him saying that, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking clown, about. I don't know. That bitch is a clown. We know who we're talking about. I don't we know, know the bro's name. I don't that know the bro's name. And then what else are you talking about? The baby and stuff? Yeah, I was talking to him about the baby. I don't like talking about the baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It gets it gets me like really sen I get sensitive because I wasn't able to be there because I'm in another state. So when they told me the story, I rushed to the phone. But then when Letitia called me, I was like, she was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this. I was like, bitch, tell me what the fuck I need to know. She was like, well, was the baby, and I was like, what are you? I was like, wait, what, bitch? <laughs> I was like, what are you telling me? And then she told me, and then I just, I was like, I, gotta, I paused for a minute, and I was like, I gotta go. I call me back in a minute. And then I, I, I didn't want to call you, so I waited a while. You know the story. You was there. Yes, I know the story, darling. Then I sent you flowers. Yes, did. you did. you get them right away because it was during the holiday? Yes, you did, darling, and I appreciate it. I know you did, but um, 
And they were beautiful. They were gorgeous flowers. They were I, they were appreciated because it's the thought that counts, but they weren't beautiful. They were I mean, gorgeous. That's, they were they were just they were average. They were average flowers that were appreciated because under the circumstances, obviously, is the TV really loud? No, it's really not loud? really loud, but that hair okay. color is. But go ahead. Um, okay. Under the circumstances, you know, I appreciate everyone that sent me flowers and everyone that was there because, you know, I had like close to 30 people with me in the room. But, Who wasn't uh, there? Um, but your <laughs> boom said me. <laughs> <laughs> boom, you need to be there. Who was, who didn't come? Because I know I wasn't there, but I, I made my presence known and I made sure that you knew that I was there. Mm. You know, because you know I love you down. You're the oldest sister I had. I always had younger siblings. I don't have any older siblings. So I don't know what it's like to have somebody older. I know, y'all. This hair color. I know. It's one of those things where if your makeup ain't done or if it ain't perfectly curled, you look crazy. That's why I don't like the color hair. That's why I like natural hair. And I like to just keep it simple. But then every time I do that, you're like, oh, why don't you do this? Why don't you do pink why don't you do blue why don't you do rainbow infusion why don't you do ombre and then i do it you know i get dressed i give you a makeup look and you guys like it but guess what that's not how i'm gonna be every day big bird no sesame street bitch <laughs> <laughs> Man, It'll be big bird Hey, Big Bird. <laughs> it do look a damn fool right now. No, you actually lie. look, you don't look like But I can't fool. try to just only see y'all when I look exactly how, you know, perfect. Exactly. I can't just only come on live with my makeup done. That's just not being real. <sighs> you know one thing I need to tell y'all? No matter how many times somebody tells Rod not to do something, regardless of the situation, she's going to do what she wants to do. Regardless, what? there's nothing when your mind is set on something, whatever it is, you can't change her mind once it's really set. You can try to talk her out of something, it's not gonna happen. Something is really wrong with her, and I can relate to it because I'm still that way to a certain extent. It has something to do with our parents. Um. My mother is very aggressive. And that, that, listen to me, listen to me. My mother is very aggressive. I have a, so that aggressive I behavior. Have a no, 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 hold on. Is Wait, my hold your question. Childhood friend on this live at all, Ciara. Ciara, are you on this live at all? Are you on here? What? She beat your ass in elementary school? If you're on here, could you say something? And if you're not on here, could you send me an email? Uh, my email is in my bio, or well, it's on my profile picture. Can you send me a message, Sierra? You send me a message, and um, I actually want to reply to it and deleted it. I spoke about it on live, and then I accidentally de deleted it when I was cleaning out the inbox because it was so full from receiving um, different emails about a bunch of nothing. <laughs> But could you send me a new email, if possible? Her name is spelled C-I-A-R-A. -A. Okay. Are you done? I'm done. A lot of times when your parents are very aggressive, or when they do certain things and they act out, thinking they're doing something great, like beating your ass, you go to school and you do the same things to those children. <laughs> That your parents are doing to you. So when I would get my ass whooped at home, I go to school and whoop me a few bitches' asses. <laughs> and then she comes to school with the belt trying to embarrass me when she did the same thing to me at home. Or she gets aggressive. And then when I handle certain situations aggressively, then she's like, You need to calm down and control your temper. <sighs> oh, oh, now you're tired. <sighs> so you like to talk bullshit, but you don't like hey, to talk Holly. bullshit. Hey Holly, um, I gotta go. I really do. I, I gave this ten minutes and ten seconds. And I, should, I should be very disrespectful, but I'm not. Hey Betty, you somebody's child. Hey Betty, idol. Hey Betty. 
but I'm not going to do that to you because you are somebody's child. And I don't need mommy calling me to ask me why I said those horrible things about her child. You need a fucking Tic Tac. It's two. It's after hours. I don't know why your breath smell like that. Why is everybody saying hi to Nikki on the live? Because she on the live. I don't see no Nikki on this live. Um, well, just because you don't see it, don't mean she on. Hey, Bree Bree. Bitch, they call it Tweety Bird. <laughs> Yes. When you gonna take that that hallelujah looking shit out your hair? I'm gonna take it out tomorrow, actually. Why you don't take it out tonight? Let your man see the real you and not some bitch from Sesame Street.